this one's pretty. Okay, so what I really want to talk to y'all about, um, I think I'm gonna call this Love Bomb, but it's gonna be like another update to um, like what's going on with the Kingdom Spouses. Y'all remember when I did that video? I don't know how long ago it was, but it was like, I was like, well, I guess we're just emptying the clip with all the words that he been giving me concerning these relationships and love, right? And so that's what I'm gonna call this one, but that's what I'm gonna do in this one. And so I kind of wanna start off with honestly, this morning so it's a couple of songs few songs when i was first yep y'all guessed it in the bathroom knew i was gonna record today i was hearing so in love with you so in love with you so and i was like who sing that it's anthony hamilton and jill scott then after that i started hearing um uh, i wanna be your chick i wanna be down for you ja rule and ashanti right um and then after that ride by joe 50 cent and all them in there i wanna ride with you ride with you i wanna okay and a lot of the little words he's been giving us it's in the lyrics to those songs okay which i was listening like only god hey <laughs> and so um go check those out now what he been bringing back up to me is a number of things and i'm feeling like polka dot man like if i don't release it i'm gonna be sick <laughs> and so the first thing is what i had already put in the community post earlier i told y'all he gave me two separate words regarding restoration and i want to say this is in like september october october it was either while i was fasting or after i fasted and it was when i upon waking up sometimes he will give me straight words or sentences and those were the two that I remember. And it was like, the first one was indeed, I was preparing you for him while away from him. And I was like, you was doing what? Like, I heard it so clear. And it was just kind of like, huh? But it was 100% believable. And then another day I woke up and it was, of course you ran away from him. You ran away from me. And I was like, are you talking to me? Like, it was so loud. Like, I heard it plain as day. And I was like, huh? And that's what he said. Of course, you ran away from him. You ran away from me. Signed, God. Okay? And so, um, I, I was reading the comments, and I understand a lot of y'all can relate to that. Those are things where it was just crystal clear. Something else that happened recently. Look, I'm going to just tell y'all everything. Something else that just happened recently was I had this, um, I'm trying to say it in a way to where it's not like TMI or like you doing a lot, sis. But I, I didn't want nothing on me. Let me just put it that way catch my drift it happened when i was in the bathroom i was like what is this about and god gave me naked and not ashamed and y'all know we already talked about that vulnerability in another word the scared to love scared to love the k camp song the word i released about that so go back to that because he's bringing that back up in me saying that one of the last times we was on the phone and y'all i gotta be careful because I don't be knowing which of these he gonna see. And I don't be wanting to... Like, I know when God is releasing me to say stuff, but it's still like, I don't ever want to say stuff that I've never told him and, you know, all of that. But... Unless he was on the phone, I could feel, like, the... Like, the tension, the frustration, the tiredness. And not the tension, like, wanting to fight, but, like, over the situation, just, like, with my money, because it's, like, <laughs> either you gonna release it, or, you get what I'm saying, and I could just feel the warfare, not between me and him, and that's something I've already said, they're not your enemy, the enemy is your enemy, and so you gotta remember that, even in those moments where you feel like that, and it's, like, it's not, it's really not them, it's the warfare over y'all, and so I could feel it, and I was, like, oh, God, and I was a little discouraged after we had got off the phone, because I was, like, you know, this is looking kind of the same way I felt about my money when I got off the phone with that lady like listen okay God been told me these situations mirror and so and I've been seeing three two one so I was like there go my three two one because that was a surprise this morning I really should be more turned I don't know why I'm not but I guess it's one of those things where it's like thank you you owe me that and I knew I was going to get it you know what I'm saying I was a little discouraged and I was like oh Jesus you know and I had to go pray but God was letting me know like because it is coming to a head basically like that's why you you feel that you you feel that and so um another thing that he was telling me because remember y'all sometimes it's not always 100 percent. god was like oh and, hey girl and tell i'm telling y'all about my real life experiences right and so um one thing that i have noticed is and this is in multiple relationships but definitely in this one the difference in this one is it doesn't bother him because he knows like what what song is it queen saying i i see you i see through you just like water y'all know what song i'm talking about 
it don't bother him in the other relationships especially especially with a narcissist it was like he was mad but it was like sir i'm filled with the holy spirit you not finna lie to me like i i see through that right like i it don't matter what you're saying i see it you know what i'm saying over here i pick up on like when something is wrong even if he's not telling me i pick up on like when he's tired but it's like a spiritual tiredness and it's manifesting physically you get what i'm saying i pick up on all that i see him the same way he see me and i know it bothers me sometimes but not to the extent of actually i'm not gonna lie to y'all sometimes that makes me run because it's like dang like when you trying to be perfect and so strong and you don't want to ever seem weak people seeing you for like who you are sometimes that can make you a little flighty and it's because you just want to come off a certain way but remember in these kingdom relationships you we can't be prideful it ain't no wearing no kind of mask because the holy spirit it don't matter i can act like everything is fine he's gonna know if it's not and vice versa and i've noticed like sometimes he don't like that like and sometimes i don't even say nothing because i don't want it to especially for a man y'all gotta remember that like they don't want you to think that they're not strong or they're messing up they can't handle it or whatever but this for my fellas if you struggling with that because i know guy is saying he's building up y'all's confidence and we all got insecurities check it out your kingdom spouse she not gonna be looking at you like that god don't let her look at you like that even in the moments where i'm like is he struggling it ain't no like your weakling it ain't like that it's, he's a whole man and i know that men we all pull our strength from god but one of the things that i love and i see that in my daddy and i see it in a lot of my, my uncles and stuff is like a strong man pulls his strength from god at the end of the day you just a human you do feel like come on holy spirit oh i don't know which of my brothers in christ i'm talking to right now but you look like superman to us no matter what even you being a human i'm telling y'all holy spirit don't do me like this you are like superman monica has a song i think called that and then uh what's that song carrie hilson and chris brown sing superhuman come on holy spirit okay i promise y'all and this is me speaking for me he even when he do mess up in, the, in another uh instance what's the song i'll kill you janae ego and some market we just keep going back to that one and janae says something like go up to bat for you go up to bat for you even when looking bad for you right the this is different i don't care what you went through with them other girls what they may have said if she laughed when you cried or when you tried to open up to her this is not that even if it happened in where he's restoring you what is going on right now this is not that she looks at you with loving eyes adoration she admires you she looks up to you even if it's one of those things to where like because y'all know how to already hit on this like one of y'all might be a little bit more tapped in spiritually right now i still look to him he can lead me i'm not fighting that you get what i'm saying because i know he's god's son brings in a whole nother level of peace and so we finna just empty the clip another thing he was giving me is like because so, i was interacting with y'all in the comments um when we get like it's his fault it's his fault like god get your son god was showing it to me like kids tattling okay and it's so funny because he really been ministering to me through the middle okay and that's what he was showing it to me as like kids tattling like worry about yourself we we not out here tattling don't be out here trying to tell me what he doing what you doing like that's how god been making that clear okay and it's sweet because it's like dang we are like siblings because we belong to god i am god's daughter he is god's son okay okay like okay let me make sure i ain't missing nothing now i'm about to tell you about that experience i want to tell you i want to say that for the end but i'm trying to make sure i'm not missing none of the little things in between here um I've been wanting to tell y'all, like, if y'all love me, y'all gonna love him. Because we the same person. I really like my... Ooh, I met my equal. Ella May said that in the song. Found. Like, Simba in his prime. Like, listen. <sighs> Match made in heaven. Okay, listen on something else. One of y'all, I haven't got to your comment yet, but it blessed me this morning to the point of, like, tears. Um, I have a friend that is also used prophetically... And um, she didn't been through a lot. And she's just recently been publicly telling us about her, her, her new boo. And her thing was, she put it in a caption, um, his heart is like mine. And I had to reshare it because y'all know I released a, released a word that said that y'all got the same heart. And I was like, and this is how you know 
that it's God. And I was like, are you kidding me? But he does music and y'all know what we do over here, okay? And she was saying how he had just wrote her a song in the studio or made a song for her or whatever. And I was like, you are kidding me, okay? It was confirming for me, but the dream you just said, shared, sis, where he was singing and he had like put his vocals down on a track or whatever, y'all don't know how much that blessed me or you don't know how much that blessed me, okay? Because I understand a lot of y'all, like I've said, y'all sing, y'all write, a lot of the men, y'all produce beats. You may produce the beats and sing and write. Like, listen, and I know what I've been doing. I had a whole week of writing prophetically. And I want to release that to y'all, but I don't want to release it like this. I want to release it the way God gave it to me, okay? On a beat. <laughs> and so, um, it's, God is really doing a thing. And, and, and I talk to y'all. I know y'all like music like me. I know y'all sing and stuff. Like, he is really doing a thing. And for me to be watching her love story unfold and he's involved with music, I'm just kind of like... But the confirming part was we've already had a conversation where I was like, I already knew you was the truth. We just waiting on the world to catch on, right? Like, and you dreamt that. And I'm thinking like, and they were so shocked. And it was like, come on, babe, let's go. You know, she is your ride or die. And y'all know that meme where it's like, um, Y'all know that meme where it's like, uh-uh, I ain't no ride or die. Where are we going? And, you know, are we stopping to get food? All that. That's how I used to be, but this is somebody I would blindly follow. Now, you're not supposed to blindly follow nobody, but I can do that because I know he's God's son. And even then, I'm still using the sermon, still looking out, you know, like the dreams and stuff I didn't have. But it's one of those things where it's like, if it came down to it, I would blindly follow you. Okay, something else, Jay-Z and Beyonce. When I say y'all, a guy is ministering to me and confirming things for me through this show, it's insane. But I had already received a word prior to me knowing what God was doing that you were going to be like the kingdom Jay-Z and Beyonce okay and that's been coming up so much the last week and it's kind of like okay God like I hear you I hear you I really do you get what I'm saying so power couple right that goes back to all of that and the song he had me listen to which is my favorite song is upgrades you I hear you be the block, but I'm the likes to keep the streets on. Notice you the type to like to keep them on the leash, though. I'm known to walk alone, but I'm alone for he a is not playing. And he definitely been talking through a lot of these songs lately. Um, It was something else I was about to tell y'all. Oh, Rihanna and ASAP. Because I told y'all I had a whole lot to say. I thought I was Rihanna since I was about 15 years old. If y'all have noticed, I've had my green eyes in lately. It hasn't been because I just wanted to. I ran out of clear contacts, and so that's my only option right now. But... I used to wear these contacts. Come on, Holy Spirit. I was, I used to wear these contacts all throughout high school. Um, obsessed with Chris Brown. You know, the normal stuff. And um, I always thought I was Rihanna. And so a lot of things had been happening this year. And God was just showing me different stuff. Even my family. There have been times where, like, I would be, like, at a bigger family reunion. And they would be like, yo, like, why Rihanna came on the radio and I thought it was you? What? Yeah, don't be, don't be hyping me like that. Y'all cannot do stuff like that, right? I love Riri. I always thought I was Riri. So when she popped up, and y'all know they be talking about her ASAP all the time. Like, please let them be great. That's what God was saying. Y'all already, and it kind of goes back to make me better too. Y'all are already popping on your own. And folks really gonna hate y'all just because y'all are together and popping. They gonna hate your love. Come on, queen. Because I know the song just came out last night. I haven't even listened to it yet. Do y'all get what I'm saying? They are going to hate your love. When I heard a little bit of it on Instagram, I was like, oh stop this is so right on time i know she released that prophetically they hate your love i told you this is why the enemy been at y'all the way that he has okay because the things that y'all are going to produce to include the children rihanna is about to birth a whole baby we already see the projects and stuff that she births okay the difference she makes in her, her um in barbados over here in america for those who look at, like do y'all <laughs> and i was listening to a song the asap um I don't know what song it was. I was listening to it the other day. And I was like, dang, like even how he rap, it kind of reminds me of Rihanna. I never noticed that. Y'all are supposed to be the opposite, but like the same, like th that's your equal. Y'all are each other. You are one flesh. And I just noticed that this week. I was like, God, no way. The way they talk mess is like the same. If that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. Like y'all the same person. All right. Last and final thing. Cause I know I've been saying like a whole lot. I had told y'all the other day, the Holy Spirit truly is like intertwining y'all. And I I know because I was blessed to see it. Okay. One particular morning, mind y'all, we've um, repented. We don't do that. And it was one of those mornings where we didn't. Like we were, we were obedient. And um, I told y'all, I always have lots of visions and stuff 
dreams and God speaks to me. A lot of times I'm with him, I hear God directly, but I still have visions. I still have dreams. And that's the only person where that hasn't been like cut off. And so one particular morning woke up and y'all know like the the death grip headlock and stuff right like woke up but i was in transition just okay. told y'all most of the time i see demons when that happens this is the one time i vaguely remember like it wasn't demonic um sometimes it'll happen and i'll hear tongues or i will hear like angels singing okay but i've never seen something like this except for this one particular time woke up and it was like it was the Holy Spirit because I asked God what was going on, but it was like um, white and I don't want to use the wrong words because what's coming to mind is majestic, but it was like, it was like just flowing, but it was intertwining us. Like I saw God's Holy Spirit moving in between us and I'm watching it and I'm like, and I'm not saying nothing. My y'all, think about how close we are if I'm in a whole headlock, okay? Think about how close we are. And it was a forward facing one, right? And I'm like, what's wrapping itself around us? And when I tell y'all I'm looking at it, but I'm feeling us getting closer and closer. Now, are we actually getting closer and closer? No, because we already really close. Like, <laughs> you know, but I feel it. Like it's a, it, every time it like looped around, it was like closer and closer and closer and I remember just looking at it like how and I was kind of freaked out I ain't told him that so I gotta that's why I'm like I, I gotta be mindful how I release stuff on the internet right um and I was so overwhelmed that morning like I was like I'm sorry what was that so when I tell y'all you don't have to speak God is joining y'all together via his holy spirit please believe me because he let me see it and I'm not gonna cry but it was one of those things where it was like wasn't coiling it wasn't like a snake nothing like that it was literally like a white it wasn't a ghost it was just like a, a white essence and it was literally intertwining itself <laughs> he's so good intertwining itself between us like weaving us together like just going around him going around me going and and i felt it you can't make this stuff up you just can't and last thing when because he's been telling me like y'all story is already making a difference and it's not public it's not a hundred percent finished like even between us you get what i'm saying we're not there yet but it's already making a difference so i know the full testimony is going to make a difference one day he been telling me that but the last thing people see the love between y'all the few people that have been around us that's what they always tell me like he really loves you like like you can just tell i know whether they catch him looking at me catch me looking at him how we interact how we laugh and smile like it's so pure it's so genuine like childlike smiles and laughing and stuff and can joke with it. like everybody always tells me the same thing like like y'all really in love yeah even if we don't know it even if we fight it even if we don't want it yeah because it's not you can't control it you can't what god has joined together let no man put asunder He's joined y'all together. I'm telling y'all, it was like he was braiding us together when I woke up that morning. They're like, what is this? And people see it. Y'all's love story is going to make a difference. And I tweeted that the other day. I know my love story is going to be a testimony for our generation. I already know that even how God got me documenting what's been going on, even when I got it wrong, all of that. I've been documenting all of it via YouTube. He's used me coming in a, my gifts prophetically to document it. He's using this to help grow me in my gifting. He's good. Now, I could get on here and be like, yeah, he for sure going to do it in February. 
I've been having moments of God where I'm like, I don't even care because I know you're good and I know you're perfect and I know it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. But it's not that I don't care because remember, I've really been warned. Like, you're going to give me my stuff, actually. But it's one of those things where, like, I'm still going to be content. I'm still going to be working in the meantime and I'm not going to fall apart if it don't happen when I'm hoping it'll happen because God's timing is perfect. Yes, February, I do think I'll have some finally moments. Will it be 100%? Who knows? I don't know. But I'm thankful nonetheless and it's a love a love bomb nonetheless okay i've been wanting to tweet so bad like i'm so in love it's not even funny because i am and i had to get to that like you are that's exactly what you're in love that's exactly what it is and you're safe over here because god is over here and the reason i haven't been wanting to tweet about it is because the last time i tweeted about being in love i was wrong right but every time i start thinking like that god be like didn't i tell you this ain't that you did tell me that father and so i know if i'm still working on some of these fears i'm still working on some of these doubts he's working on the both of us it's both ends and it's him that's joining us together it's him he let me see it like so i just pray that this encourages somebody it blesses somebody no matter where you are whether you know who it is whether you don't know who it is whether you're talking to them whether you're not that don't stop god it don't matter what man is saying god is gonna be god he's gonna do god and if it's a season of we're in like a love bomb season we just in a love bomb season must be love on the brain i didn't know what love was until i got right with god so bring it all back around to of course you ran away from him you ran away from me i didn't know what love was I'm out here declaring I was in love. You didn't even know what love was. I just found out what love was in the last, like, 12 months. Okay? Remember the one video I made and I told y'all, because we both be like, why? Like, why? Why? Did, why? I don't understand. And God was like, y'all both wonder why. Stop wondering why you love each other. Like, just leave it at that. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. The scripture says that. It's a mystery. Okay? So just keep following the Holy Spirit's lead. And I'm telling you, you ain't got nothing to worry about if the Holy Spirit is in between it and God is making his presence known in this thing. You don't have nothing to worry about. Like, be cool, baby. Okay? So I love y'all. See y'all in the comments.